time for entertainment news. First up, um, Ola Deeps parts ways with Reminisce's record label. Nigerian fast rising rapper Ola Deeps has parted ways with Reminisce's LRR label, and from his newly released Maybe song, it seems their relationship must have gone sore. Now, according to sources, the rapper who signed a five year contract with the label in 2016 is said to be walking away after over three years into the deal. And you know what? Let's just check out this new video. Okay, so. Guys, do we have another record label and artist drama again? Because listening to this, we obviously do. we do. Obviously we do. Like, this is somebody speaking <sighs> with passion, speaking yeah. his mind. I'm I actually happy with the way he came out about it. You know, it's, it's, it's going to have more impact than just writing uh, a message on a Instagram. As a strategist and a PR. You don't, you don't like it? That is a... a no, no. We are playing this video oh, now right. because of this issue. So it's working. No, it's in not. In a way. It's not. Because to we, like, I mean, to you, to... Okay. For us, it's the thing of, oh, okay, um, this is the story. We're going to move on from it. If you ask me tomorrow, who is Oladib? Oladib, so I'm not going to remember. But because, that's why oh, this video he, will make you remember. You'll nah. be like, oh, that guy that had issues with his record and label. And where he's, he's shot himself in the foot is the next record label will not want to sign him. Because if you leave a record label Without and there's drama, and deal. then you now call them out and do all that, this thing. that's like he's not going to start his own flyboy because no one else was going to put him on. Mm. because they just don't want drama. Okay, so, so I completely understand what you're saying, but here is the thing. I feel like somebody has to take charge and actually speak up because all the time we talk about this record label artist drama and we really don't really know what it's like. He mentioned a lot about popping pills. He mentioned so many things that must have happened while he was there, the pressures, how you, if you give me a dollar, then you claim you're helping me. He's mentioning stuff that might be happening. He's starting off a conversation and he's speaking out for upcoming artists. So yes, it might affect his future you know, career line, but then I will say kudos to him for doing that. Well, mm. not to take sides with anybody, I always say this, read your contract. Yeah. It is simple. This is, this is a record label, not a management, this thing. So if he's going to spend his money on you, he's, I don't know, he's to an extent doing you a favor because he's investing his money. And if you're not making the money back, because he mentioned that as well, like, oh, you're talking about I'm not making money for the yeah. record label. Mm. If you're not making money back for me, I'm not going to put have money a right to pull out. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. there's so many record labels and artists are thinking, oh, and once I get signed, that's the end of it. But you don't understand that you have to work for it because there's so many of these artists that get really lazy when they, once they get signed, they, they feel like everything's just going to come to them. Mm. No, you mm. need to work for this thing. Double. Mm -hmm. Double. <laughs> okay. So. It's just crazy. Reminis hasn't said anything. Reminis is just posting no. his own. He has a new single that is about to drop with Niniola. So hopefully this will not become very... Messy. Yeah. Okay, moving on to another messy story. Yes, 50 Cent publicly disowned son. Yes, it seems the battle between Curtis Jackson, aka 50 Cent, and his son Marquise Jackson has taken a drastic new turn as the rapper has publicly disowned his son, where it all started after 21-year-old Marquise posted a video from a 50 Cent um, concert in Brooklyn came, claiming he bought tickets to his own father's concert and to make, to make matter worse, he wasn't allowed to go backstage at the said event. A fan, however, questioned 50 Cent after after that video went viral, asking why his son would pay to go watch him in a concert. Well, 50 Cent's response has left many shocked as he replied with, and I quote, I got a blood test, that's not my kid. That blip blip out of here. Yes, in case you don't know, 50 Cent and Marquise have been at loggerheads for years with the father and son throwing jabs at one another every now and then, every time these two people are always fighting. And this but, like, boy actually looks oh, like... <laughs> 50, so I'm very confused. <laughs> that they must have a lot of drama going on, as you said, for him to come out and say I'm disowning they him. Do and this every ah. time on social media, and the boy is even petty like his father. <laughs> like you know, 50 Cent has issues with um, Floyd Mayweather, and yeah. um, then the boy now went to chill with Floyd Mayweather or Snapchat um, doing FaceTiming to. Well, the know. apple doesn't Just fall too far from, from the tree. tree. That's it what doesn't I was fall say. too far. Yeah. Wait, this boy looks like you. <laughs> <laughs> Behaves like you too. Daddy, I know you do short a lot, but please, before you come for me, look at the child. Forget blood tests. They could have mixed it up in the lab. <laughs> <laughs> Check the. Uh, uh, do come another on. test. Come on. Oh father, my father and son always fighting on social media. Oh my nah. God. Too much drama, I beg. <laughs> All right, finally, Kim Kardashian apologizes after Kimono Backlash renamed Shipwear brand. Now, following the backlash, reality TV star Kim Kardashian had received, you know, over the naming of her, and trademarking of her shipwear, 
Kimono. She is now set to change the name of her brand after much cultural misappropriation outcry. Now, the reality star took to her Instagram page to tender her apology. Now, she wrote, and I quote, I am always listening and learning and growing. I so appreciate the passion and varied perspectives that people bring to me. When I announced the name of my shapewear line, um, I did so with the best intentions in mind. My brand and products are built with inclusivity and diversity at their core. And after carefully, uh, no, after careful thought and consideration, I will be launching my solution wear brand under a new name. I will be in touch soon. Thank you for your understanding and support always. End of quote. What do you guys think? <laughs> First of all, <coughs> you, kimono that we were always wearing, kimono, like mm. kimono. Yeah. You know when they you came know, it's trademark. You know, you were, come on, man. Come we on. should leave Kim Kardashian. But she I think that's a good move. She funky with her name, Kim, kimono, make a mm. shapewear brand out, out of the name. And yeah, the Japanese people were not she happy. Can't, she, can't actually she can't trademark, trademark that name. name. It's just no, like the occult situation. Yeah, this will, yeah, this people one, already call She something. does not own that. She doesn't own, when you think kimono, you don't think, you don't even think tight. You don't even think You are thinking that shapewear. You think free. Free. Jacket, so, like uh, she does, I don't think she has an argument with this one, and I love Kim. They've like, gotten her, she will probably change her name. And place, yeah. place, place, I beg. Right. Moving on to some more foreign <laughs> news. I am still straight, says Lil Nas X, American rapper Montero Lama Hill, aka Lil Nas X, who recently got many, many people talking about his sexuality, has made a new revelation. The rapper who is from Atlanta, Georgia, tweeted, Just because I'm gay doesn't mean I'm not straight. Mm -hmm. Now, this tweet came after the 20 year old rapper put out a series of suggestions tweet with a rainbow emoji that had people thinking he had made a declaration about his sexuality. Meanwhile, all of this happened over the weekend on the very last day of Pride Month, which is the month to recognize the impacts that the LGBT people have had in the world. Lil Nas X became a sensation after his Old Town Road song featuring country singer Billy Ray Cyrus stirred controversy because it was a hit on the country charts. Now, the song was later removed by Billboard for being too hip hop and not country enough, but that didn't stop him from topping the charts. Now, this is song has been on the UK charts for over 14 weeks. And even the Billboard and Andre charts, number two one. Two times yeah. as number one. And then as he's performing, he's talking, he's saying his story. So people are saying that, you know, gone are the days where you can protect your children from LGBT and the mm -hmm. opinion. So it's like you're growing up and it's there in your, in face. your face. yeah. So I think people are not really excited about, about that. But what exactly does he mean by uh, That is the question. Gay, but he's still he's straight. St doesn't mean he's not straight. I'm like... Can bro, you, bro, you are confusing my emotions. <laughs> my emotions are all, all over the place. Maybe so there's confused. Uh, Abby OJ, is that the, extra meaning? I, 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 I think it's, I, I don't know. I think it's just scared maybe it might lose fan base because right now with his new song, Old Town Road, he has gotten country fan, country music fans, yeah. then the hip hop fans, then now, and you know, country people, they don't associate with, then you're coming out as being gay maybe first, then you know. might lose fan base. But it's just crazy, especially on, on the ground So, right bro, now. you're gay and you're still straight. Hallelujah. I believe in you. That's another mm. gender Because that I'm, I'm confused, out. but it's okay. <laughs> well, everyone to their sexuality. Okay, so that's, that's all we have yeah. right now on the But the, the song is a jam, by the way, but... Old Town Road. I'm a ride to the uh, Old Town Road. Oh, ride right till I can no more. No, 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 no. Tomorrow, now, Ojo will say, I'm gay, but I'm still straight. No, he can't do that. Guys, the wrap on the news. We're going on a break, and we'll be right back. All right. Before we go on the break, it is time for our birthday shout out. Yay! Who knows whose birthday it is today? My mommy! Yay! Happy birthday, mommy! Aww. I love you! Um, oh, to do you want to give a little speech? Hmm. Oh, yeah, give the speech. Hmm. She's watching. First of all, my mommy and I, we need a reality TV show. <laughs> <laughs> but mommy I love you so much thank you so much for raising this beautiful lady that I'm, mm -hmm. I am right now I was so much of a problem child somehow but you sure still made me this amazing woman and I'm grateful to you and daddy Aww, happy birthday mommy I love so you sweet. happy uh, birthday to Arike's mom but guess whose other birthday Bada boy! <laughs> why didn't you let OJ answer what's your own like you like it I'm Bona now I'm Auntie Bona yeah happy birthday <laughs> to our African giant himself today he's clocking 28 I mean Arike, is that, that is massive he wrote it on his page. He wrote it on his page. Uh, they can write it, but you, you ask Auntie Borna. Ah. Is that true, 28? Auntie Borna, 28? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
But according to Burner Boy's page, yeah. he wrote X X V I I I. Roman. So if you understand the Roman uh, Roman numbers, else. yeah, that's twenty eight. Okay. Nice and then one. another birthday that's today is Lindsay Lohan. If you know her from Mean Girls and Freaky Friday, happy well, birthday to now. Lindsay. Yeah, she looks totally but it's different. All right. Yeah, people were saying today's your birthday, and I hope that you turn a new leaf from drugs and everything. And we hope that as well Definitely. because Lindsay is, was a childhood sweetheart. Everybody mm. loved Lindsay. She was she and uh, Miley Cyrus. They were on that same, day, yeah. Yeah, on that same level. Another person whose birthday is today is Margot Robbie. Now, if you have watched Suicide Squad, the clown's girlfriend. Uh, talk to OJ. The clown's girlfriend. And Focus. She oh, Be and Focus. Beautiful actress, by the way. Honestly beautiful speaking. Actress. Happy birthday to Margot Robbie. And happy birthday to everyone out there whose birthday is today. Sending you love, light, nah. peace, nah. prosperity. Okay, please. And more money. Mommy Arike, please tell us where the turn up is happening. Let's come on. <laughs> Chop and drink, of course. <laughs> Mm. All right, guys, welcome to <laughs> It's time for Sweet Bill, where we bring you all the savagery, humor, and crazy moments on social media. You know, sometimes some of these savage tweets or clapbacks moments are cringeworthy. <laughs> oh, we love it! That's why we're here. Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Beat a Nigerian child, console him with biscuit and ask him, who beat you? He will point to another person. <laughs> this was how bribery and corruption started in Nigeria. <laughs> Because no. you dare not point at the person that has bought you the biscuit. I just gave biscuits now. How, you, how dare you? Because you, so you, have to, you have to think of the series of events. So, first was the beating. <sighs> that has gone. That will be in the past. Then the biscuit. Now, the biscuit is the present continuous. Uh, this one used to the, the person, children. The person who beats this child is obviously not a parent. Because the parents will beat you and say, <laughs> Are you crying? Are you crying? No, there are some parents. Are you crying? Are you crying? Slap another slap. They will not shut say, up. Who beat you? Welcome, take. Oh, yeah. Who beat you? <laughs> and if it's my dad, this pack of biscuits will give you. It's <laughs> that I don't cook my like before. Take. Eat it. You are cooking here for FF food. Eat. <laughs> Eat till you die. And see, Jenny Kosako's face is like, <laughs> yes, that's where it started from. Lecturer brings him back mathematics text scripts. Now, lecturer says, I did the mala six over 30. Class. <laughs> <laughs> Then the lecturer decides to bust their bubble. And say, it is actually the highest. <laughs> Class, milk. All of you fail you. Some people got minus 10. Six over 30. Think that's the highest. Six over 30. That's the highest. <laughs> Like, what kind of people? No, no, are no, don't say that. Some, some types of tests are not. No, I don't want to. not like that. Because, from experience. Mm, mm, eh? No, I was just saying, I'm speaking for the people. <laughs> <laughs> regardless, regardless, if the highest in that class is 6 over 30, and people are laughing, ha ha, it's so funny. That's why they say remove the. Uh, is it log of wood in the your eye? Before, speck in your eye before you mm. go and remove the log of wood in another person's eye. <laughs> At least know what you have, you know, scored in the test before you start doing ha ha ha. Oh, because no. you can be zero over 30. <laughs> Moving on, woman, cause you change 1000. Oh, me, open scope and takes big up. Hmm, killer mache bye. <laughs> <laughs> this is me. Cause you change, oh, okay. Because you are thirsty now. Let me drink first so, now. What are we now going to do? Who is going to... You got to for the change. Excuse me. Who is going to look for the change? <laughs> I will frustrate the woman. That's what I'm going to say. Sorry, who is going to... Where, where it happens, like, at that moment, you really need that. You don't care. Yeah. Yeah. What's going yeah. yeah. Later, we'll be talking about... Mm. It happens to boss. What if I'll change you? What if I'll change you? Oga, there's no boss. I've been standing at the bus stop for 30 minutes. You can't tell me what if change you. Tell me change. Don't enter. But I'm don't here. don't do this at toll gate too, because well, they will not give you your change. And you leave the money for them. Leave it. Well, it depends on the toll gate, actually, baby girl. Because uh, mm. me, I used to pass as out so I to, and they used to give me change. You used to wink at them or what? What's the secret? Why are big and big? Hey! You're winking at people. <laughs> <laughs> like yo 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 yo. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that. Yeah. It's they will not give me your change. It has happened to me. Me and my sister. They told us to park in front. You did not wink. Coming. Did not we wink now well. waited for like five minutes. You did not <laughs> wink well. People have bought the mattress now. You did not wink well. You're dying. But if you have mouth like me, mouth a bit eye. 
No, oh. mouth. Ah, see you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's the TVC eye to look at me. It's flash eye to okay. look at me. Okay. Okay. A project ah. is not recognized. Me, TVC, <laughs> all of us. I'm one of them. Like, I'm board of directors. I'm one of oh, them. Yeah, <laughs> Let your gut at you. Sir, I'm doing this place. It's place, it's place, sir. I'm not doing Moving on, in primary school, I had a huge crush on this girl. So I would always submit my notebook on top of hers. Even if we can't call you physically, we can educationally. Wow. Uh, 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 bro. That um, is... Wait, she's, he did say primary school. So it must have made a lot of sense to him back then. Educationally, they were cuddling. What? Uh, <laughs> no. What cut? Cuddle. His notebook <laughs> was... On a notebook. Bro, what kind of notebook? Mm. Is it... Like all those uh, yeah. writing. Higher books. education. No, oh, in primary school. Two D, all oh, those Two D or four D. Hey, if it's math test and you have failed, if you put it on top of it and you remove the education and, oh yes, your case. Because <laughs> if I'm the one and I'm smart like this. The way we show love in primary school is just weird. So no, what, so what, what were you doing? Someone, no, not me. Uh -uh, I'm a babe now. Somebody actually leaked sweets and put in wrap and now stoned me with it. I was not upset. He now. Not opening. Oh, <laughs> oh what? I said he has licked it already. He wanted you to lick it you too. Know, <laughs> so that you will kiss. He now stoned me with it on my... I, I was not very upset. It was not much later I found out that. You are supposed to kiss. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, what kind of magic is that? Nah, I just want you next to me. Oh, That's God. it. No. No. <laughs> this is Kevin Hart and he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. But let's read it. It's a meme. Some people are just too wicked, though. How can we be fighting and you will hold my neck? Do you want to kill me? <laughs> like, bro, we're just fighting. You know that the first step to killing somebody is like this. <laughs> when you're not old, you're not pressing. You're not forgetting the person. It's just fight. Bass, bass, beast, bass, beast. That's all. You have to. Uh, uh, that's that's too another deep. level. That's no. too deep, bro. Hold on, right there. Hold on, right there. <laughs> I, I don't understand. I don't understand. We're not killing ourselves. Sure, we're only fighting. We didn't say let's kill ourselves. We're just fighting. You know, oh. bars go throw sleepers. I throw my own back. A Nigerian know? fight is even different. Hold me. Hold me. This why I should do. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Let me give you a good gist. There was a day. Do you know who I am? Somebody bashed me. So I came out and I was like, I said I was a woman. First of all, I felt defeated. Because if it's a guy. You cannot win that battle. I, I, do you understand? Oh. You can't you win, can't win the battle. <laughs> if, if, if we're a guy, the guy will just be like, I'm sorry or something. But this woman was at fault. And I came out and I was like, Madam, you know, she was like, hey. what? She just came out of the car. I was like, what is wrong with you? My friend said, I said, because Bukala hold me now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hold me. I said, it's not because Bukala is holding me. What? Come out of that your car. Do you remember when she came out? Ha, she's not tall. <laughs> <laughs> I said, Bukala, hold me, hold me. Bukala said, I'm holding you, I'm pulling you back. So we can enter the car. I said, Madam, this, this is not it. I will meet you in front. <laughs> you know me? We see my crazy. Eh? Do you know who I am? It's because I'm wearing this cloth now, if not. Oh, wow. Come on, driving Benz. Look at my matchbox, as my mommy calls it. On that note, <laughs> let's just leave this savagery on Tweetville. All right, thank you, Arike. That was absolutely fun, guys. <laughs>